hold that. We're eating pie. We're vlogging and eating pie. Granny, this is Nick's grandma, also my grandma, and today we are learning how to bake a pie. I contacted Granny because it's the holiday season and I've never made a pie before, so I thought this would be a really good video since I know a lot of um, newlywed young women follow my channel. Um, we're gonna learn how to make a pie. The old fashioned way. The old fashioned way. So we're gonna start making our apple pie. And I have a basic family recipe that's been handed down through generations. So this isn't my original recipe. My mother-in-law gave me this and she got it from her mother. So it's very neat special. that it's, yes. um, you know, something that stayed in the family. And I know a lot of people are worried about pie crust, but honestly, this I've never had fail on me ever. So in the bowl, I've got two uh, cups of sifted white flour. And I like to use the gold metal brand. And um, there is a teaspoon of salt mixed in that into the flour mixture already. And um, except for that, I have taken one third of a cup of flour set aside in a separate bowl just because we're going to make a little uh, mixture with water and put it back into our dough once this is um, the, the Crisco is cut through the flour. And the reason I like the Crisco sticks is because it's already pre-measured. Mm -hmm. um, you can cut across the lines to see, um, you know, the appropriate amount. So I've added the three quarters of a cup of Crisco um, into the flour here in the salt. And I'm going to take my pastry cutter and start cutting it into the flour until it gets into really, really small little crumbles. Does um, this work better than like a hand mixer? Well, I've never used, oh, you can't use a hand mixer, but I, you know, I was thinking that maybe a food processor would be good, mm -hmm. but in speaking with one of my sister-in-laws, she told me she tried that and it turns out kind of um, dry for some reason okay. and harder to, I think, maybe get out of the food processor. Okay. So, she said she went back to cutting it in just like we're doing. If you want to try something old fashioned, <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this will be your deal. <laughs> you don't want the chunks of Crisco to be too big because it's not going to easily blend together into a dough ball. So I'm going to. That little process is finished. And what I'm going to do with the rest of this flour in this bowl is I'm going to get a quarter of a cup of water okay. into a third of a cup of your flour, your original flour mixture. Okay. So this is two cups of flour minus what I took out. Right. Okay, so we're just going to take and put this into our... To the middle of our flour. And I did wash my hands before this process, so because I am going to be getting up close and personal with this dough right now. So now we're going to. I took all my rings and everything off because yes. this can get really messy if you. So we're kneading. Okay, we're kneading this uh, water flour mixture into the flour crisco mixture. Just kind of working it into the center. And while we're doing this, we are preheating the oven. Yes, we've got the oven working. At? Uh, for um, the two crust fruit pie, it's uh, 400 degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to get yucky. And it starts to look. Like pie crust. You're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is enough um, of a dough ball 
to make the bottom one one double crust pie. I'm going to cut it in half because I'm going to make two crusts. Okay. Now I kind of cheat and make the bottom one a little bit more because it has to go down into the pie bowl. Okay. And I, it just takes a little more, a little bit bigger mm -hmm. piece. Okay. So now this part of the dough is done and I just have to roll it out. Prior, we had a little uh, kitchen helper do the apples ahead of time. By the name uh, of Grandpa, Grandpa, Grandpa Ray. <laughs> Grandpa Ray. He's my helper. He's the apple peeler. <laughs> and he does a great job. And uh, we did this ahead, so in order to keep the apples from turning brown, we put salt in the water. So I will have to rinse that off okay. at, um, at the point where we're going to put this, this cinnamon sugar seasoning onto the apples. Mm, yeah. So we still have to drain this, but we did do those ahead of time. Um, and I think that we might mention that we use tart apples, um, yes. either the Granny Smith because they're more readily available. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky enough and you can find Pippin apples in your grocery store, they're called an ugly apple because they aren't really perfectly green all the way around. But they really have a good flavor and they cook well. So I asked Granny <coughs> why we use green apples instead of red apples per se. And you had a good answer. Because they have more flavor and they bake better. They don't turn into Mush. applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> applesauce pie. Yeah. <laughs> so green apples it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you didn't want a two crust pie, I guess you could, you know, do like some of the big shops do and put some kind of a crumble on the top mm -hmm. with a crust on the bottom. More of too. a cobbler kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. However yeah. you want to do that. Yummy. So, um,. We're going to leave the apples alone for a minute and we're going to go over and we're going to roll our pie crust out. Perfect. Okay, so we've got, we made our dough balls mm -hmm. and I've got a pastry cloth on top. It's not my um, tablecloth. Uh, it's uh, just a heavy cut of uh, muslin fabric. Muslin fabric. And you said that this is... <laughs> And you said that Oops. this. <laughs> Oops. Um, and you said that this is your favorite thing to work it on. It is my favorite, and um, I've had it a long time, and it works really, really well. Uh, I think there are other products, some silicone um, table pads, but I prefer this. I've tried them, and I always go back to this. Mm -hmm. This is cool. What I like. So I've taken and I've sprinkled um, some of the uh, gold metal flour. Um, onto the muslin cloth and I also roll my rolling pin in it so that the dough doesn't stick. Okay. So now I have took the larger of the two balls even though they're not that much different in size I did take the larger one because it's going to go into our on the bottom onto our nine inch pie dish and it has to go down in the well so I think it needs a little bit extra on that side right. to make sure that we have enough. So, we've got it all together, so I'm going to put it here on my cloth and get some flour on it. And then we're going to start to roll it. I'm a big help. <laughs> get that out of my way. Okay. And um, I remember my mother-in-law telling me that her mother could do this perfectly, that she could get a, a beautiful, complete circle out of it, and I'm... I'm not that confident, but let's see what we can do. Well, sometimes it breaks apart too. Um, you know, sometimes the flour is drier. So what happens if it breaks apart? Do you just reball it? Um, and start you know, it's like play-doh when you kind of okay. can patch it. Um, it sometimes doesn't look as um, beautiful as you would like it to, but it always tastes good. Yes. You want it uh, fairly thin because you want it flaky. Okay. And I see it's, you know, a little bit pulling apart there in the middle, so I'm just going to pat it down there. Do you need um, any special type of rolling pin for this, have you found? I used to have a wood one. Okay. I think this is better, the silicone one, because it... Uh, 
has less of a sticking factor okay. to it. I'm just going to lift that in there like that. And you can see that, you know, sometimes it does do its little things. Right. All right. So we're going to eventually do the same thing with the top crust. Okay. But this is where I will um, cut away and we'll take care of our apples. Beautiful. Oh, that was not very graceful. <laughs> Perfect. Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> it's beautiful to me. It's perfect to me, Grandma. Okay. So this is the part I get Corinne uh, into the action here. And uh, we're going to start uh, seasoning our, our apples. And in the bowl, I've got a, a cup of, well, let me read. Uh, yeah, three-fourths to a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a dash of nutmeg, and a dash of salt. Okay. And Corinne's going to mix that together and then uh, pour it over our apples. Perfect. Until they're covered. She'll stir that until it's covered. We figured I couldn't mess this part up, so <laughs> I got them mixing. She's a good stirrer. <laughs> Hopefully. And this in the bowl, I think we forgot to say that there's six to seven apples, depending on the size of the apple. If sometimes the apples are really large, you might even want to use less. It's up to your judgment, I would say. And so, how big is the pie pan? It's a nine inch. Okay. Nine inch. And that's what the recipe for the pie crust is for a double crust nine inch pie. Perfect. So, we're going to uh, actually, you can dump it. You don't okay. have to sprinkle it, but just kind of around the whole thing. Yeah, that looks right. Woohoo! Can't go wrong with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, Grandma. And then just yeah, stir it up. Okay. It smells good. It smells it amazing. Smells, good already. It smells like the holidays. Okay, so we're gonna dump it into here. Okay. Into our crust. With a little bit of caution because you don't want to jam the apples down into your pie crust too severely. It's, uh, don't want it to break. Don't want it to break and leak all the juices out of the pie. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. So it looks like a lot of apples, yes. but you know, they cook down. Okay. And uh, when we're through, we're probably going to have a crust up in the air and the apples down in the bottom. Um, that's just what it does. Okay. You may oh. take this and okay. dot all that butter on top. Just make little dots of butter across okay. the top, around the top. I'm dotting. Yeah, you can. You washed your hands. You can actually use your fingers. <laughs> well, I licked them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it's our pie. <laughs> this is our family recipe. <laughs> Did we say how much butter this was? It's two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Because nothing is homemade but without that butter. butter. Yes. And it doesn't really need to be all that precise, you know. It's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> it just says dot. It doesn't say where to put the dot, so <laughs> we're good. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Just that little extra. So now I'm just cutting off the excess of the pie crust there, just to to the rim of the the pie pan. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready to the top ball, the last dough ball. Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna need a little more flour here. I think we've developed an audience. Yes. We've now drawn a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> now my dough has gotten a little dry from sitting out, so it's probably going to... So is there like a time frame when you make the dough? Is there a time frame where you should make the pie? Um, no. Uh, you could actually make it ahead and refrigerate it. Okay. Um, some people use ice water, and I think it keeps you know, the Crisco in line from 
ice water, like put the balls in ice water? Uh, no, oh. like, you know, where we use the quarter of a cup of water, they would use ice water. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Just so it's, okay. Okay. Well, glad we could you Because you're working with an oil, you know, and it changes, it changes, what does it change? Viscosity? Wow. Oh, and it that's word, word number, number two. two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to leave the dictionary word there. <laughs> Oh my, that wasn't supposed to happen. But uh, you can do a redo if you need. Nope, nope. Just patch it. It happens, and you know, I mean, that's the reality of it. Now, I think we already have a natural vent in this pie. You're in because the uh, because our pie crust fell apart. It was kind of on the dry side. So uh, ordinarily, you do need to vent your pie. So I have a little apple cookie cutter. It's adorable. And I just put it in the middle of the crust okay, so until it makes a little um, cut through there so it has a vent hole. So I've cut both crusts around the side to exactly the rim, taking the lower crust and the upper crust and rolling the top one over the bottom one to make a seal. Now I've pushed them together and I'm pushing them together again and just making that uh, crimped edge that you see on a on a pie. Okay. Aside from the niches and glitches, that's our apple pie. It's beautiful. And it's all up to the oven now. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna pop this in the oven for how long? Uh, 50 to 60 minutes. Okay. So you can kind of look at the um, crust and see how it looks. If it looks like it's getting too dark, you might want to pull it out because I think the apples actually get done in, in 50 minutes. Or okay. So. so this wasn't yeah. so bad. No. Okay, Grandma. So we're going to... Okay. Now there's the other thing. Corinne is eating the dough. <laughs> dun dun. For some reason, it does taste good. Oh, are but we it tastes, that? But it tastes even better if you want to take the little leftover pieces and squish them back together again and either fill them with uh, jelly or uh, preserves of some sort or you can roll them out with butter and cinnamon and make little cinnamon rolls. So, so don't throw the leftover crust crust away. I have seen before where there's little shapes. Is that something you could do? Like if you cut out like a little apple? If I apple? cut up a bunch of apples. <gasps> Can we try you it? Want to do that? Yes, that's okay. cute. That's your idea, Corinne. You go for it. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna take this and just cover it over the little crack. Sure. That's adorable. Let's yes, do another. I think you came up with a good idea. Let's do that again. Okay, I'll hand you little apples here. Yeah. Little stitches on her. We're about ready to put this pie in the oven and see, see what, what happens. Out. Okay, there's our finished product. All right, guys, that is it. That is how you bake an old-fashioned apple pie. Grandma, thank you for teaching us all how to do it. My pleasure. Thank you guys for watching our video, and we'll see you for the next one. Yeah, it's the life. best apple pie I've ever had in my life. It really is, though. <laughs> it's made with love. It's made mm -hmm. with love.